Hi guys, so it's been a long time. I'm really sorry for becoming what I originally hated about YouTube, which was inconsistency in videos. But you know what, to be honest with you guys, um, a lot has happened in my life since surgery. Um, really big things, uh, some I'll talk about, some I won't, but um, taking care of myself is a full-time job, first and foremost. Uh, aside from my actual jobs and my marriage and just life in general and it's really hard to be consistent with videos I think about it all the time, but I'm just not really in a position to make them most times. It probably sounds like an excuse probably is As you can see I shaved my head um, I haven't really been having too hard of a time with thinning Really the only reason you can see my scalp is because my hair is dark red and it's shaved with a two guard, but I just got tired of doing my hair and I've been battling depression not just since surgery, but just in general um, got a lot to talk about. I got a lot to cover. Hopefully I don't get another phone call that interrupts my video, but I am almost six months post-op. April 4th, I will be six months post-op. So I'm about five and a half months down now. I am down a total of 20, 52, 86 pounds since surgery. I am down a total of 113 since my most recent heaviest and 125 since my most recent heaviest. I weigh 242 right now. It's pretty exciting. I was 328 on the day of surgery and 355 the day of my pre-op diet. And uh, my all-time heaviest was 367.4. So I'm feeling really good. As you can see, my face and chest have changed a lot. I've got collarbones from hell. I love them. I have a bony chest. Um, my, my arms are kind of dangly, but it's okay. Um, I'm in a 16, 18 size. I started as a 28. Um, a couple things I want to talk about. I'm not really prepared with notes. This is kind of an impromptu video, but, um, dumping, dumping is real. Do not eat and drink at the same time. Do not overload on carbs and sugar. Fat hasn't really been an issue for me. Um, the four or five times that I've dumped since surgery, um, have been progressively worse. And it is horrible. The most recent time was about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, at a movie theater with my husband. We were trying to watch a movie and I started dumping. Um, I thought I was gonna freaking die. You have an anxiety attack, you're pouring sweat, chills, nausea, cramps, you name it. Um, not once have I thrown up since surgery, which is kind of cool. I've thrown up kind of in my mouth a little bit, but nothing has made me like vomit. Um, diarrhea a couple times, lots of constipation. TMI, I know, but you're watching this video because you want to know what life is like after weight loss surgery, right? All right. <laughs> Scars healed up at eight weeks. Um, I'm shrinking. Everybody's shocked when they see me. A lot of people have said I look totally different. It's pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> gosh, sex is amazing. <laughs> so amazing. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I thought that my bones were going to feel better after surgery because I have osteoarthritis and... Um, three ruptured discs in my lumbar section. But to be honest with you, the pain has gotten a little worse. I think that's because A, my weight is shifting so quickly. I've lost a lot of weight in a short amount of time. And B, because um, the calcium, you know, I'm not getting as much calcium as I used to because I used to eat dairy all day and drink milk and eat ice cream and and such. And now I'm on, um, I'm on vitamins. I'm on my multivitamins and calcium supplement and um, that's about all I take. I don't take omeprazole every day. I don't take, um, really anything else. I don't take anything for pain. I just smoke weed. You guys know I'm a weed head. I smoke my pot. Um, I get heartburn sometimes and acid reflux, which is crazy. I never used to get that before. Um, there's not really anything that I can't stomach. I can't do bread though. Bread hurts going down, it hurts to digest, and it makes me not feel good. So I don't eat bread. Um, I eat a lot of meat. I drink my Premier Strawberry Protein drinks. Love those, they save my life. I love those. They're a great way to get in a quick 30 grams of protein in 10, 15 minutes. It's, it's really great. Um, I still drink milk every day. I eat dairy. Um, I indulge in the sweet every now and again. I'll have a cookie, like a small cookie or a tiny cupcake or it's not daily. Um, certainly not daily. Uh, probably weekly. I indulge myself once or twice. I think the proof is in the pudding. Um, I'm not horribly saggy. I don't look like I've aged 20 years. 
and I'm losing a lot of weight. So I'm just kind of doing what feels right for me and kind of listen, just listening to my body and letting it teach me how to treat it. Um, my husband loves my weight loss. He loved me before he thought I was the most stunning creature ever, but now he's just in awe, which is really nice. Um, friends and family have been outstanding, not only supportive, but, uh, it's really fun to see people that you haven't seen in a long time, especially since I was at my heaviest and then they see me weighing what I haven't weighed since my freshman year of high school. And it's a pretty cool feeling. It's a little bit of an ego boost. One thing I will talk about quickly, uh, cause I can't make this too terribly long of a video, but something that is really, really important to me that I didn't really consider before surgery was that I have had a really hard time adjusting to my new eating habits, to my new body, to my new face, to my new, just the way I feel. I thought my depression would go away. My pain would go away. I thought I would feel like I was the most beautiful person ever. And it's been the total opposite of that. Um, most of the time I have felt like an awkward teenage boy going through puberty. Nothing fits. Uh, you can't buy anything because two weeks later it's too big. Sounds like a great problem to have, but it's kind of frustrating. Um, emotions have been kind of ha hectic. I've had a lot going on. We since moved back to Florida. So we moved to Colorado and back in five months. Um, you know, a lot of other stuff going on that I, I won't touch on, but it's been, it's just been a big transition. It's been a lot going on at the same time. And it's been really, um, a challenge to try to digest everything. And, uh, I've just been kind of trying my best. My husband's been my best friend and my rock and he's kept me sane and reminds me not to eat for taste. He's, Lindsay Gale, you're not eating for taste. You're eating for fuel. If it weren't for him, I honestly don't think I would be doing so well. Um, so yeah, I've come a long way since that first video that I posted at 355 pounds and, um, I'm really, really grateful that I haven't had any complications. I've been feeling really pretty good except for my bones hurting. Other than that, I feel great. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I'm sorry that this isn't a more planned and well thought out video, but I just said, you know what? I'm home alone. I have a few minutes. Let me make one. If you guys have any questions, you know the drill, just post them down below in the comments and I will be glad to check them and answer them for you either directly or in a new video. I promise to, I promise to try to post more videos more consistently. I love you guys so much. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for your sweet words. Uh, you guys have really helped lift me up when I've been in dark places. So thank you so much. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.